Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to part 9 of the Fan Art Feb series and for today I'm drawing My Neighbour Totoro. This is a lovely film, it's one of my favourite Studio Ghibli films and I just wanted to draw it to be honest. I love drawing any Studio Ghibli stuff, especially the Sut Sprites as you would have seen on my sketchbook tour video because I did them on the front cover. But yeah, I thought I'd try and do this one with my markers and I kind of regret doing that, especially with the background because more of my markers have just been killed now. They're all running out slowly and I'm going to have to look into getting some more soon. So there'll probably be some less marker drawings coming out uh, until I get some new ones, especially less with blue in because it's my blues that seem to be running out the most, especially my bright blues, which is really frustrating because I love using that colour. But anyway, for today's topic of discussion, I wanted to talk about how, I think anyway, how to get started in art. So these are just some little tips that I did and used when I got started and to help you get started. So the first one is just draw. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, as long as you're drawing, you're going to improve either way. And look at things to draw like you've got you've always got something in front of you you can try and draw from still life helps a lot and it helps you get your shading and stuff like that down which leads on to my next point it's learn the fundamentals so learn how to shade which there is i'm sure there are videos all over youtube on it i mean i can do some videos on it if you want like how i shade and different techniques but there is art books that tell you how to do it or show you how to do it and they help so even getting art books that's another thing that can help um, like how to draw books but learning how to draw still life and all of your basics which there are the fundamentals of different parts of art like the fundamentals of um, anatomy drawing and landscape drawing and stuff like that but they all come back to your basic line work and pencil work learn how to get the different gradients and stuff and if there is a specific medium that you know you want to try and use learn the fundamentals of that as well um, next is case studies look up not just modern artists because they are great I mean you can go and look up like Siren her work is amazing if you want to go and do digital work then do a full case study on her learn what motivates her because they'll be on her on their website it's normally on there in like the Q&A section and write it down look at it and then see what their inspirations are and then try and see if their inspirations help inspire you if you like traditional art then say look at bailey j's work and she's i'm sure she's done some q and a's that say what in, what motivates her or inspires her but copy some of their work do not sell the work do not claim it as your own but copy it and see what you like from that style of drawing another one is um use a sketchbook and date it put a date in at the start and do try and do a sketch in it every day it doesn't have to be amazing sketchbooks are not supposed to be neat and perfect the more messy they are the more experimental you are in them the better and again that leads to the next point experiment if you experiment with loads of different techniques and mediums that's how you're going to learn what you like and it just makes it more fun as well there are so many different techniques that people don't know about that you can use. I mean, has any of you ever tried using bleach, like cleaning bleach, with ink? If you Normally you need a certain type of ink, but have you tried it? Because I tried it at school and I loved it, it's so much fun to do. But a lot of people don't know about stuff like that. Um, when I said date your sketchbook, date your work. If you put the month and the year, or even just the year that you did it, you can then look back on that work and you'll see your improvement. Don't look at it the next day, the next week, even the next month. I mean, there will be a little bit of improvement, but give it a time span of like six months and look back. If you do a piece and look back on one from six months ago, you will see how much you have improved. And trust me, it just flies by. The amount of improvement you can make in just a few months is amazing if you're willing to put the time in, which is one of the big things I always have to say because my stepdaughter is not long started art and she was interested in it and she wasn't because there was the one word that she absolutely hates, which a lot of teenagers do hate, and that's practice. 
and that is all art is. It is years and years of practice. I've got to my drawing style now because I've practiced drawing so much. I mean, I knew that at first, when I first started drawing, I was doing everything. I did landscapes, buildings, not that I can draw them very well. People, flowers, and I hate drawing flowers, but <laughs> I can still do them if I need to because I've just put the time in to practice. And yes, it does take a long time. I mean, unless you're a quick learner, then you're lucky and it won't take you as long. But the more time you're willing to sacrifice to put towards practicing, then the better you're going to get quicker. Don't compare yourself to other artists. You can look to them for inspiration. You can ask them because a lot of them will, will be quite happy to give you feedback. If any of you guys want feedback on a piece, then I don't mind doing that for you. Just drop me an email. My email is down in the description box. But gain feedback from people and that will help you as well. But the main two points I would say is don't try and be perfect because nobody is. No artist does a perfect piece of work straight away first time. It's just it's not one of those things that happens. There is a lot of thought process that goes behind it. There's all the thumbnail drawings and the planning and that's what sketchbooks are for. You do chuck all of that in there. You chuck all the bad stuff in a sketchbook so you can come out with this amazing finished piece. And the last point is have fun. Don't let it bog you down when you're not producing art that you think is good enough. Or if you're doing a piece that you're not enjoying, then don't do it. It's as simple as that. I mean, if it's for an art project, say at school, and you have to do it, then fair enough. But in that situation, take a step back, do a sketch of your own, and then go back to it. That's probably the easiest thing I'd say. So I hope some of these tips have helped and I'll just recap them all now for you. So it's just draw because that will help. Obviously you've got to draw to, be, to do art. Case studies, learn from other artists but do not steal their work, just learn from them. Learn the fundamentals, learning how to shade properly and lighting and tone is going to be one of your biggest allies when it comes to doing art. Use a sketchbook date your sketchbook and date your work and experiment try new things different things anything that seems fun that you haven't tried before go for it why not do it in your sketchbook that's what it's there for people don't have to see the sketchbooks and then again like i just said don't try and be perfect and just have fun because art is supposed to be fun and creative and a way to let loose and eventually it will, like I said, it will take practice and time, but if you really want to get far in art, then that time is nothing to you. What, wet, what better way to spend that time that you would be thinking, oh, maybe I should just go into art, maybe I shouldn't. Well, instead of thinking about it, just do it. Just draw. That's, that is the best advice I can say to get started. Just draw. But we're coming to the end of the video now. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. And if you have any questions for me about it, or you want to, like I said, send me a piece of work for me to look at and help give you feedback, then just send me a comment down below or send me an email with your work. My email, like I said, is in the description and I'd be more than happy to help. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.